every one of us has a responsibility to help people who are in need. So I am a lifelong Kentuckian and really a lifelong Louisvillian. I was born and raised here. I've lived all over this community. I grew up in West Louisville at lg and KU. I get to lead our efforts in community and community investment and community engagement, volunteerism. So we support a lot of nonprofits that are doing work with women and girls. We have special efforts toward recruiting girls to become engineers. And we know that that field is lacking in both people of color and women. In the 90s, when I was working in county government and I spent nine years working for David Armstrong as county judge and then as mayor, that's probably where I really, as an adult, got my interest and sort of appetite for wanting to work in the community. I serve on seven boards. In many cases, I'm the only African-American and so it's important that there are diverse voices around those tables. Everybody has room to come and work in this space because the needs far exceed any of the resources and time that we have. If you look at a lot of statistics, cancer, health disparity, economic disparity, Kentucky sadly leads on a lot of charts that are not positive. That just really fuels my dedication to help change the lives for those who are disadvantaged. If we could ever develop an equal playing field where people have all the resources that they need. And I know we'll never have a world where everyone's wealthy, but we should also not have a world where the economic vitality swings are so incredible like we do now. People are extremely rich or they're absolutely poor. So my vision for the future is that there will be systems and policies and processes in place to help eradicate that so people don't feel the hopelessness that leads to some of the issues that we have today. My dad always told me, you have to be involved in community and help your community. So I've just always been serious and, um, and committed to that. And, and it takes a lot of time, but you find that we all make time for what we want to make time for. Thank you to my dear husband, my children, and my sweet grandson for standing with me and supporting me with my crazy schedule and lengthy commitments. Thank you to my coworkers at lg and KU for your commitment to community and to empowering all the customers that we serve throughout our territory. Thank you to the Center for Women and Families, your board and staff for the important work that you do every day to change people's lives. And thank you to the Women of Distinction. It is an honor to be invited to join you in this society of sisterhood and success. I promise that I will continue to advocate for women and girls forever.